In the quaint town of Clockville, where every clock ticked in perfect harmony, lived a curious boy named Toby. Toby was fascinated by history and dreamed of witnessing the great events of the past. One foggy morning, as he wandered near the old railway station, he stumbled upon a mysterious, antique train with a shimmering clock face on its engine. The train, unlike any he had ever seen, was adorned with intricate designs and golden gears. Toby, with a heart full of curiosity, climbed aboard. As soon as he touched the driver's seat, the train roared to life, and the hands of the clock began to spin wildly. Startled yet excited, Toby realized that this was no ordinary train, it was a time-traveling machine. He pulled a dusty lever, and in a burst of light and the churning of gears, the train began its journey, whisking Toby away into the depths of history. The first stop was ancient Egypt. As the train halted near the Grand Pyramids, Toby marveled at the sight. He explored the bustling market streets, saw the majestic Sphinx, and even witnessed the construction of a pyramid. The air was filled with the sounds of history coming alive. As the sun set over the desert, Toby returned to the train, eager for his next destination. He adjusted the clock hands and once again, the train leaped through time, taking him to another era in history. The train's next stop was medieval Europe during the Age of Knights and Castles. Toby stepped out into a world filled with cobblestone streets, towering castles, and colorful banners fluttering in the wind. He watched knights practicing in the courtyards and strolled through lively marketplaces. His adventure took an exciting turn when he inadvertently helped a lost knight find his way back to his castle. In gratitude, the knight invited Toby to a grand feast. There, Toby experienced the rich culture of medieval times, complete with minstrels, jesters, and a grand feast. After bidding farewell to his new medieval friends, Toby hopped back onto the train. He set the clock to a new time, curious about where and when he would end up next. The train zoomed forward, the scenery outside the window blurring into a whirl of colors. Toby's next destination was the Renaissance period. The air was filled with the fragrance of blooming flowers and the sound of classical music. He wandered through streets lined with beautiful art and architecture, feeling as if he had stepped into a painting. He even had the chance to observe famous artists and inventors at work, marveling at their genius and creativity. It was a time of enlightenment and beauty, and Toby soaked in every moment. As the journey continued, the time-traveling train took Toby to the Industrial Revolution. The contrast was stark, from serene landscapes to bustling cities with smokestacks and steam engines. Toby witnessed the remarkable transformation of societies with the advent of industry and technology. He explored factories, marveled at the new inventions, and saw the changes that these advancements brought to people's lives. It was a world vastly different from the eras he had visited before, full of innovation and change. Realizing it was time to head back, Toby set the clock to return to his own time. The train began its journey back to modern-day Clockville, passing through the whirlwind of history it had traversed. As the train pulled into the station, Toby stepped out, his mind brimming with the wonders he had seen and the lessons he had learned. He knew this adventure would stay with him forever, a journey through time that had expanded his understanding of the world's vast and rich history. Back in Clockville, the clocks ticked on, but for Toby, time had taken on a new meaning. He had traveled through centuries in just one day, and his love for history had grown even deeper. Toby's time-traveling train had given him a historic voyage he would cherish for a lifetime.